Hello students, welcome to Mr. TK classes. Our topic is revenue. This is our question, question 3 from FAC 2601, October, November 2016, UNISA question paper. This is our answer book. The question reads, on 1 March 2016, what limited sold furniture for 25000 to smoke limited on credit? on the condition that the full amount must be paid 36 months later. What Limited has an incremental borrowing rate of 7% per annum, and it was determined that the discount rate that reflects Smoke Limited discredit risk is 9% per annum. Additional information. 1. Assume that the financing component of the transaction is significant. 2. Assume that credit losses on the trade debtors are not expected at any stage. Required, record all journal entries for this transaction. Please note, journal narrations are not required. All debts and calculations must be shown. Round all amounts to the nearest rand. Taking additional information 1 into consideration, let us go through this. In determining the transaction price, the entity has to adjust the amount of consideration for the effects of the time value of money if the contract includes a significant financing component. You might be wondering why time value of money. Yes, we have to take time value of money into consideration because the value of a rand on 1 March 2016 is not the same as the value of a rand 36 months later. Remember, Smoke Limited will be paying 25000 36 months later. If Smoke Limited was paying for the furniture on 1 March 2016, how much was Smoke Limited going to pay? That amount is called present value and we are going to calculate it. 25000 is our fair value. 36 months later, that's our period, number of periods, 3 years. Smoke limited this credit risk is 9% per annum, 9%. Let us calculate our present value. We are going to use Microsoft Excel. Let us zoom in a little bit is equals to present value. So Microsoft Excel will tell us what to input. We are going to start with the rate 9% 0 0.09 comma number of periods 3 years 3 comma payment 0 0 comma Fair value, 25,000. Type, 0. Then we close our parenthesis. We press enter. This is our present value. So, Microsoft Excel returns a negative because it will take this as a payment. This is our present value, 19,305. 19,305. We are going to debit an asset called trade receivables. Alright, Smoke Limited is owing us. That's why we have debited an asset called trade receivables. Then we are going to credit revenue. 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 2016 March 1. 2016 March 1. All right. Then we move on to the end of the year. 2017, Feb 
we are going to debit trade receivables we are going to credit finance income we are going to credit finance income all right so let us calculate finance income let us calculate finance income let us calculate finance income multiply by 9% multiply by 9% 1737 1737 1737 okay so this is our first year we are moving on to our second year 2018 Feb 28 Okay We are going to calculate finance income All Right Let us take this amount let us add this amount so um, we should take this amount trade receivables and this amount trade receivables right these two okay 19305 plus 1737 21042 21042 multiply by 9% multiply by 9% 21042 Okay, this is our finance income. This is our finance income. This is our finance income. All right, so this is the end of our second year. We are moving on to our third year, 2019, Feb 28. 2019 Feb 28 2019 Feb 28 Alright, we are going to calculate our finance income Let us take this amount Let us take this amount Okay Let us take this amount Let us take this amount. Alright, so these are the amounts that we have taken. Trade receivables, trade receivables, trade receivables. Right, okay. 
plus 1737 plus 1894 22,936 22,936 multiplied by 9% is equals to multiplied by 9% is equals to 2,064 2,064 This is our finance income. This is our finance income. Right? Okay. So this is the end of our third year. Right? And remember, our period is three years or 36 months. Which means that... Uh, we are going to receive money from Smoke Limited. Since we are going to receive money from Smoke Limited, we are going to debit bank. Right? We are going to debit bank. How much are we going to receive from Smoke Limited? Let us calculate. We are going to take trade receivables, trade receivables, trade receivables, trade receivables okay 19,305 plus 1,737 plus 1,894 plus 2,064 25,000 we are going to receive 25,000 right let us credit trade receivables right because Smoke Limited would have paid. Smoke Limited would have paid. So we'll credit trade receivables. This is the 25,000 that is here. Right? If you read here, um, on the condition that the full amount must be paid 36 months later. The full amount 25,000. This amount. So, this is how we do um, our journal entries for revenue, taking time value of money into consideration. Thank you.